In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the newest member of our family, the Ring Video Doorbell. I'm going to show you which one you should buy, how to get it set up, and everything it can do. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today I'm gonna to show you a solution that allows you to protect your home as well as be virtually always home. And that is done by the Ring Video Doorbell. Now there are many different models that you can choose from. And today we're gonna to talk about all of those. But first, the Ring Video Doorbell is a replacement doorbell that is able to have a video camera feed of your front of your house. So anytime you can see who's at the front of your house, Whenever they ring the doorbell, it will actually give you notifications right to your phone. You can pull up the camera, see who's there, and even talk to them through the speakerphone and the microphone that is built in on the camera. Now, a few things that the Ring Video Doorbell is going to give to you. First, it has mobile access. That means that you can access your doorbell from anywhere on your mobile device. Second, it's gonna give you two-way talk, so you can communicate through the built-in microphone and speaker Next is cloud recording. You're never gonna miss a moment because it's gonna record motion as well as doorbell rings and you can watch anytime. Oh, that's fancy, Brett. Yeah, that's the you have lifetime purchase protection. So if anything happens, like the device is stolen, they will replace it. It is certified for outdoor use in rain, sleet, snow, or heat, and it has night vision. So it captures every motion and it is working around the clock. Now the Ring Video Doorbell is available for iPhone, Android, or Windows phones. Now that you understand what the Ring Doorbell is, let's talk about the different models that are available for you. First, let's dive into Ring Video Doorbell and Ring Video Doorbell 2. Each of these offer five selectable zones with sensitivity scale. So this means you can select certain areas of the video capture so that when it receives motion, it will alert you. Each of these have a battery with six to 12 months of normal usage they also connect to an 8 to 24 VAC transformer. The Doorbell 2 offers a quick release battery exchange and supports 1080 video where the regular video doorbell only supports 720p. They both connect to your 2.4 gigahertz network. The video doorbell 2 comes in two colors, black and silver. The Ring Video Doorbell Pro adds being able to connect to your 5 gigahertz network. It does not have a battery and it runs off a 16 to 24 VAC transformer at 30 volt amps. The Video Doorbell Pro will generate alerts within motion zones. Comes with four interchangeable faceplates, a slim design, and advanced features. The Ring Video Doorbell Elite offers the same features as the Pro, but requires a power over an ethernet connection. The Elite is best used in new home construction and gives you a professional look, reliable, and convenient. Each of the Ring doorbells will be able to connect to your wired connection doorbell. Now, if you have a digital doorbell, there are certain models that are supported that will work with, so check the link in the description below to see what models work. If you don't have an existing wired doorbell or digital doorbell, you can get a Chime or a Chime Pro that you just need to plug into a power source and it will connect to your Wi-Fi network and then give you notifications via the Ring doorbell. You can also change the different Chime tones, so make sure you check out one of those Next, let's check out what's inside the box. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Ring Video Doorbell Pro, but the other products are very similar. So inside the box, we have the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. Then we have the instruction manuals, as well as some stickers that you have that you can mount showing that you have security on your home. Then here we have a included screwdriver, and then we have a drill bit in case you need to add the Ring Video Doorbell to stucco. We have four interchangeable plates. We have the black, brown, white, and silver. We have the Pro Power Kit, installation screws and anchors, and then we have the quick setup and installation guide. Now that we've checked out what's inside the box, that has everything that you will need to set up your video doorbell. Now let's go to the installation steps. When installing the video doorbell, the first thing that I did was check my transformer for my doorbell. This may be a little bit difficult to find, but I was able to find this attached to my furnace. I used a multimeter to check the voltage on the transformer. I found that it wasn't producing enough power. So I did need to go down and get a new transformer that produced the 16 volts required. Once I did that, then I was able to install the doorbell. First, you need to install the Power Pro kit. Before you begin, make sure you download the Ring app so it's ready to go when you get to that step. So first, go to your wired chime. Remove the cover on your doorbell. Next, you're gonna disconnect the doorbell's front wire. My wire was white. And then on the power transformer kit, you need to pull these plugs 
they'll feel like they're gonna break and then you insert the front into the front area. And then you'll insert the front wire into the one labeled front. Then you're gonna connect the brown wire to the doorbell. Then you're gonna repeat that for the other wire. So here on the red wire, I connected it with the one that said transformer, and then I connected the blue wire to the transformer. Then you need to secure the Power Pro kit. There's a little adhesive on the back that you can place anywhere. Then replace the cover on your doorbell. Next, you'll install the Ring Video doorbell. First, I had to remove the existing doorbell. Then I needed to decide where I wanted it and make sure that it was all lined up. Then you're gonna remove the faceplate from the Ring Video Doorbell Pro to access the mounting holes. If you are using the doorbell or doorbell two, you can connect via the wires or use the battery, but connecting via the wires will help you connect to your existing chime. You are able to place the red or white cable on any of the terminals on the back of the device. There is a extender wire cable available if you need more room. If you have stucco, brick, or concrete, you will need to use the provided anchors, but if not, you can just use the screws on wood or siding. Then you can restore the power at the breaker to make sure the device turns on. Welcome to Ring, the world's most advanced doorbell. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. Now that you have your doorbell installed, let's head on over to the Ring Video Doorbell app to get it all set up. When you first go into the app, make sure that you're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network or five gigahertz, depending on which doorbell you have. It will then search for and find the Ring Video Doorbell. Once you have done this, you will need to set up your address and a few other details along the way. Next, it's going to ask which doorbell you want to use. So here I have a mechanical chime that I have installed, so I'm going to be using that. Then it is going to prepare your ring to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Here on my Android phone, it is asking me to type in my password for my Wi-Fi. The process may be a little different depending on the phone that you have. Now it is registering that password with the ring, and now the final step is to install the faceplate by screwing in the bottom of the faceplate to lock it on. So here I could add a new user, type in their email address, it will send them a link to sign up and download the app and then they can see all the settings and they can control the app. This setting is talking about the neighborhood feature that allows you to share videos from your Ring to your local neighborhood. Now that we have the Ring Video Doorbell Pro installed, I'm gonna show you how to use all the features in the application. First, I wanna note that there are two modes on the doorbell on the camera. So here you have the normal day mode and then it will automatically switch into night mode and those are the three passive infrared lights that you see on the front of the device. Going into the Ring app, here on the main page, you'll see a few different things. So here we have our doorbell at the top. So this is my front door. If you had multiple doorbells, they would show up right there. So here we have an option for our neighborhood. So you can see what is going on and others can share videos from their doorbell to the neighborhood. And then you can set up a new device there. So down here we have all of our motion alerts. And right here you'll see all the different activity. You'll see any missed rings that you have. And then you can also see ones that you've answered. If you wanna break it down and just see a ring, you can click here and I can see the missed ring as well as answered rings. And then here I have a ring that I have starred. And then here I'll see all the motion alerts. Here it's gonna give you Oh, and there we just had a motion alert pop up so we can see that he left a package at the door. If I wanted to chat with him, I can just click the call icon and it will chat as well. So you can see that it automatically popped up on the Android app, which is pretty cool. And then when we're done, we just click the end call and it'll go back to where you were. So then over here we have the live view. So you can actually see when you were looking at it, you'll see what it recorded at that time. And then here you have your starred. So any items that you have starred, you can go back and see them here. And let me show you how to star something real quick. So if I swipe over, you'll see that you have the star option there, the share or the delete option. You can also just click on it. And then here you can see the download, share, and delete as well, play and pause controls all right there. So here in the menu on the top right, you have your door, you can set up a new device, you can check your account info, check out the Ring store, and go to the help center if you are having further questions. But let's go into our video doorbell. So all you need to do is tap on the doorbell here at the top. Right here it shows a picture of your doorbell. Here you can set to turn on Ring alerts, so that if somebody rings the doorbell, it's actually going to alert this device. 
And then here you have the motion alert. So whenever there is motion detected, it's going to alert me and you can easily turn that off and I'll no longer receive those motion alerts. And then right here we have the live view. So then on the live view, it's then going to open up the camera and you can see what is happening right now. You can check to see if anyone's out there here. This is how you mute what you hear from that mic on the doorbell. Here you can answer and talk to whoever is there and then there you can end it. And if you click the plus over here, you can also add whatever you're seeing to your neighborhood. Some of the other settings right here, you have event history. So that's what we've already been looking at. You can see your full history there. We also have the device health. So we can open this up. We can see if we have any voltage errors, what network we're connected to, if we wanna change the Wi-Fi, any other details here, you can test your Wi-Fi, troubleshoot notifications, and some other device reports right there. So that's pretty helpful if when you're first setting it up. Then here we have motion settings. So motion settings allow you to control when you are notified by motion or when it starts recording by motion. So here at the top, this control allows you to set what type of alerts you're gonna receive. So right here, if you're all the way to the left, it's going to notify you only if it recognizes people. So then if you go more this way, it's going to change to just all activity. So this way you're gonna see every car that goes by or uh, you know if anyone is brushing by or the light changes, you would get a lot of alerts there. So you need to play with this a little bit to find out what works best for you. Uh, but if you just want people alert, make sure you go over this way. Then here is where you adjust the motion zones. So a motion zone is an area that you've set up where if somebody goes into that area, it's going to give you the motion alert. So right here down on the porch, I have one. If I want to go and add a new zone, I can click new zone here. And let's say I want to add the door. So over here, if somebody's standing right there, they're standing at my door. So I'm gonna make it so it moves and is not covering the driveway. I don't want alerts from the driveway. I just want alerts right there when somebody's standing close to the door. So then I can come in here and I can change the name. We're just gonna name it door, click done. And then we can turn that on, make sure it's an active command. Once I click done, then you will get notifications from that zone. So down here is where you can set up a motion schedule. So if you're home all day and you don't want to be notified of motion, you can come in here and set a schedule. So let's say that I want it to just call daytime and then I'm gonna choose what days of the week that I'm here. So let's say we're here Monday through Friday, and then I don't want a notification from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I'm not gonna receive any alerts during that time. Then I would click done. So now that is enabled and you're not going to receive any of the motion alerts. And then here I can quickly just disable that if I want to. Okay, so that is how you set up the motion settings. So now if you wanna add a chime, you can pick these up uh, from Ring, but there are two options. There's the Chime Pro as well as the Chime, and this allows you to have a doorbell in your home if maybe your digital doorbell or your hardwired doorbell does not work. You can get one of these to get it to Ring, so that's where you would set it up. Here, if you wanna share your doorbell with maybe somebody else in your family, someone else in your household, so that they can receive notifications as well, you will want to come in here and click the add button and then share it with them. So here I could add a new user, type in their email address, it will send them a link to sign up and download the app and then they can see all the settings and they can control the app just like I would here. They can set up their own motion alerts as well. And then down here we have ring partner. So you can actually connect to third party partners where you can have different things happen where when something happens, like somebody steps at the door, it will automatically turn on a light through Wemo or all kinds of different products. So you can go through and check out all of those. So then up here in the settings, you have the name that you could change. You can adjust the location. You can adjust the doorbell kit settings. So here you can change it from the mechanical to a digital doorbell. So when somebody comes to the doorbell, clicks the doorbell, when this is on, it's actually going to ring my doorbell that I already have. So then we can save our settings. Here we can check out an installation video if we need to. And then here we have a doorbell tone volume. So when somebody rings the doorbell, the doorbell actually has the speaker that's going to give a audible tone to notify them that the doorbell was clicked. So here you can turn up that volume or turn it down. I don't like it to be super loud. So there you can 
turn it down. And if you want to remove the device, you can click right there. So now let's show you how the motion alerts and the ring doorbell work. First, let's show you what happens when you get a motion alert. So there on my Android phone, it automatically turned on the ring device. I saw the alert and I could see what was happening. All right, so now let's look what the motion looks like on here. So we click on the answered motion. We can then see that when it started detecting me in the screen, you can then watch the full video here. And then there you can download it, share it, as well as delete the motion. So now let me show you what happens when you get a ring alert. I receive my notification and then I can go and see who is currently at the door. Can I help you? Is Tech with Brett here? I'm not available right now. Can you come back later? I'll come back later. So over here we can mute the mic so they can't hear us. And then over here we can mute the speaker so we won't be able to hear them. The Ring Video Doorbell Pro has definitely added a level of security to the home. I can instantly check to see who is at the front door. Maybe I heard a noise. I can open up the app and see who is there. I can also check packages. I get lots of packages. I can see if they've been delivered, if they're still sitting on the porch. Now let's talk about the video recording options. So if you want to always be able to record and look and see what the rings missed and the doorbells were, you need to pay for the $3 a month option. And if you want to have a full year, you just need to pay $30. If you have multiple devices, that will be a $10 a month charge or $100 for the entire year. I think the recording option is very nice to have so that at any time I can go back, see those recordings, share them and save them or whatever I wanna do with those, they are really nice to have. Thank you guys so much for joining me today to learn all about the Ring Video Doorbells. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below and also check out ring.com forward slash setup if you are having any trouble setting up your device. They are definitely the experts over there. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. <music>